I am Jojo, Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, and this is Angel, we love you. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week is quite a week, busy like a bee. The sun is in critical Virgo, moving to peaceful Libra, and that's good news on Wednesday, in the same time of the fall equinox, bringing us normal, a feeling of balance in our relationships, in the business world, in the media, and especially in politics. The moon will travel in the signs of Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. And remember everyone, we are in eclipse season. The next one will occur next Sunday in Aries. Very liberating. So we need to be cautious still, honest in everything we do. No manipulation because it will fire back. And if possible, avoid signing contracts to commit to something important or do any surgeries or even getting married. With Saturn, planet of wisdom now, back in Sagittarius, the planet of justice and uh, humanity united that will be there for two and a half years, rewarding the people on the right side of history. It's good news. Hope is in the air. And now with Mercury, planet of communication going backward for three weeks, I can really happily say that the madness, hateful, crazy, Trump media summer nightmare is over. But I want to thank Trump for showing us the shadow side of America, maybe 10% of the shadow side that needs to be healed. We needed to see it, so thank you, Trump C. Like I told you in one of my August show, the universe will give this, well, I don't know how you call him, a uh, double duck, plenty of rope to hang himself, and now the trunk of the elephant, the Republican elephant, is going down. It's starting to go down. And the knot of the karmic rope will start tightening more and more. It will be quite funny. But now we see things we didn't know was there before. Quite enlightening. Wonder how this Trump C baby will maneuver his last scandal of his scam speech in front of the military ship. Could you believe this? He was saying, a hundred thousand veterans are here. When there was one person, really? And it was a scammer. Ha ha, I wonder how he's gonna maneuver this. And how will he do with the fact that he was quite irrelevant in the last Republican debate? <laughs> We'll have a lot of fun watching. This Gemini dog, definitely not a bulldog. He's a angry, very angry, quack, quack, and very scared, very insecure little poodle. Mm -hmm. As you will realize more and more in the coming months, I assure you, I'm not gonna be the nominee, not gonna be anything, I'm gonna be making money. Trust me, only one way to go, down, and guess what? He's gonna quit while he's ahead. He won't like it to be a loser, but he will. So what's a big deal? We all lose in one. On Thursday, big news. Mars, planet of war, in exuberant Leo, will enter grounded Virgo. Huh, that will calm things down. It means healthcare, pets, finding a job, healing, all favored. And the big, big, big news of the week on Friday, ta-da! After five months of retrograde, Pluto, planet of politics, in the sun of Capricorn, world leaders will start going frontwards, direct. Oh, oh, what a relief it is, bringing many, many good news and more flow towards the truth, the light, and a slow return towards peace and sanity, especially with the media and political arenas. Trust me, we will be able to, all of this experience was quite enlightening actually, and next year we'll be able to, to make a much more uh, and, you know, informed choice when we vote. Also on Friday, for the second and last time this year, Mars and Saturn will square off. They'll have a little, they're not agreeing too much, but it will help us to see deeper into our consciousness 
to find out the shadows to, that need to be healed about injustice and hate, inequality, discrimination, racism, violence, all that stuff. So we can take action and do something about it. And we will. That's the beginning of Aquarius. Age. Did you know that the majority of the running politicians, this political cycle, are Virgos? In the Democrat, Bernie Sanders. And the Republicans, Chris Christie, Ben Carson, Carly Fiorina, and Mike Huckabee, all Virgos. It's possible, not sure yet, I'm working on it though, that because of Jupiter is in Virgo until next summer, the nominee of the Republican Party could be a Virgo or maybe an Aquarian, but no other signs. So let me start with you, with Libra. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Libra, because you are the sign of peace and beauty. We love you. We need you now. The sun entering your sign brings joy, time to celebrate. You have hope and you feel like a sense of renewal. You may be dealing with uh, pushy people, though, that want uh, to take advantage of you and not being really cool. Well, you say no. Thank you. Your magic is definitely in the air and people really love the way you express yourself and the way you're negotiating, but don't go too fast right now. Mercury is still going backwards, so why don't you do the best you can but still plant your seeds? And in some domestic front, you could have some adjustment that's good for you. A good time also to investigate, to research, and to look for answers. In career, Mercury backwards reconnects you from from people from the past that could give you a project or something. So it's like a return in the past, old connections that give you a job. Wow, I love it. On the weekend, celebrate your beauty. Celebrate your rebirth. Your magical color, lilac, lucky numbers, five and 32. Scorpio, Scorpio, got good news. Pluto, your ruler, going forward, finally, in your communication sector, <sighs> you will catch your breath. Saturn, out of your sign, even better. It boosts your confidence. It burns away the clouds of the past and all the limitations. Success is your destiny. You can now defeat your enemies. In career, trust your judgment and your hunches. People are very impressed by your talents, your honesty, your courage, and your perseverance. This is a very, very good time to really show how fabulous and capable you are to the world. On the weekend, I would definitely relax and take it easy. And who's a Scorpio in the political arena? Well, the superwoman Hillary Clinton, of course. She had a Saturn return, and it was an initiation. And it lasted three years, but it's over now. By mid-October, I promise you, the email scandal will fade away once again, like it did with Benghazi. There was never a smoking gun. Another Scorpio, Scott Walker. Well, he will do definitely better as well. And now your beautiful color is red, your lucky numbers 6 and 33. And Sagittarius beauties, the Saturn in your sign and Mercury going backwards in your social house make you quite curious, witty, funny and aware. Your imagination is very strong, it's a good time to take notes because you have good ideas and career. New knowledge helps you succeed. In love, the focus is on finding the truth and doing something about it. Don't hang out with people that is not the real thing. And it's very important also to watch extravagant spending. Keep a good uh, a lock on your money. Very important. Actually, you could do investment too. And on the weekend, the spiritual self is very much invited. And in the political arena, there's no Sagittarius. Too bad because it's the sign of politics itself. It's amazing. Doesn't matter. It don't count. Your magical color Sagittarius, red lucky number 743. Capricorn, the stars bring awareness. A very, very strong intuition. And Pluto, of course, in your sign, going frontwards, bring hope and more flow in finances, in your relationship. You could be dealing with some mm, monkey business people. So you'll spot them, just make sure, say bye-bye, I don't need this in my life, and watch your reputation. In career, affirm yourself because now you have more freedom of action. And philosophy, the occult could give you some answers, especially on the weekend. In love, be very patient and be kind. That's very important. Your magical color, silver, lucky numbers, eight and 53. Aquarius, Aquarius, Pluto, 
going frontwards in your spiritual sector will bring a big, big shift of energy. You feel better, you feel more confident, you get back on track, especially in career, you're back at the wheel. Be very confident, don't doubt yourself because now everything is possible. You just have to give yourself 100%. In love, try to be kind, understanding. An ideal time also to clean up and do things differently to reinvent yourself. And by the weekend, I will definitely be close to the people I love. Who are the Aquarians in the political arena? Well, like Reagan was an Aquarian, but in this year, of course, Jeb Bush is Aquarian. And I think also now he's going to start picking up, you know, he's going to go up again. He's going to do good. Your magical color, Mo, your lucky numbers, 9 and 36. Pisces, Pluto, forward in your social sector, bring you confidence, laughter, and lots of good ideas, a good time to dig deep for answers, to look for the truth, and get to the bottom of where you stand in your life, in career, and also in love. Whatever you do, don't hang out with people that is not worthy of you. Go for the best. You deserve the best. You're worthy, right? On the weekend, a, love pers a very loving person will touch your heart. Your magical color, violet, lucky numbers, 10 and 55. Ta-da! Aries, Aries, well, this season eclipse can make you a little dreamy, sensitive, but you are strong. You may have to help other people this week, especially siblings, sisters, parents, children. And you are more and more in charge of your destiny because of these eclipses. And you are seeing now challenges as opportunities. You grew up, I love it. Follow your hunches and everything you do, in love, with family, and in career. But go slowly but surely. You're going to be a turtle this week. On the weekend, gratitude awaits. And who is uh, um, an Aries in the political arena? Lincoln Shafi, Democrat. Your magical color, Fuchsia, lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Taurus, Taurus, Pluto going frontward in your comic sector brings you peace. You could be in touch with friends or people you did not see for quite a while and it benefits you somehow, even financially. A good time to get to take a very good look at your finances, your investments, your goals, and to reinvent yourself. You are moving in the right direction for sure. Just go with the flow and learn what you need to learn. On the weekend, romance is in the air, so take advantage. So who are the political Taurus? Well, Republican John Kasich and also Rick Santoro. Your magical color, orange, lucky numbers, 9 and 45. Gemini's, your master planet Mercury, retrograding in your creative sector. Ooh, that sort of slows down things a little bit. And Pluto, going forward in your house of shared resources, brings food for thought about your future. So what do you want to be in the next year? You may have to make some changes and readjust your goals, especially in career, but it's all good. The focus is on making peace with people around you and uh, to establish new strategies where you could win even better, more like you. Mercury, your master going backwards, says not to do anything fast and to think positive thoughts and to let go of old emotions. Forgive, forget, don't be bitter. Just move on, you're gonna be just fine no matter what you do. On the weekend, I would definitely recharge my batteries because you have a lot of things on your mind. So who are the political people, signs, Gemini's in the political world? Well, Republican, of course, Bobby Jindal, Marco Rubio, and Donald Trump. Gemini's. Your magical color, blue, lucky numbers, one and 37. Cancers, Pluto going forward in your relationship sector gives a boost of energy, more vitality, and psychic abilities. Creative projects are favored, but you have to plan them now, work on them, not launch them. You are able to see also the bigger picture about your life's purpose, especially in career. You're doing better and better with your health, and uh, somehow you look vibrant and people will tell you always, hey, you look great. Thank you very much, I'm a cancer. A good time also to pay your bills, balance your budget, clean up your paperwork and your house and make a fresh start because big stuff are on the way. Are you ready? On the weekend, something romantic will really touch your soul. And who are the big cancers in the political world? 
Republican Lindsey Graham and George Pataki. Your magical color, orange, lucky numbers 2 and 11. Leo, Pluto going frontward in your work sector sort of opens new doors in career. This is a time to take initiative. Knock, knock who's there, some new possibilities. But be humble, go slowly. And you may be dealing also with the public. And uh, some people may ask you some favors. Be generous. In love, enjoy also a happy surprise or a visit from out of town. And the more understanding, generous, you are the happier you will be. On the weekend, your sex appeal is amazing and everybody's checking you out. And if you're doing anything with a book or art, you will do very well. Your magical color, gold, lucky numbers, 3 and 21. No political Leos in the political arena this year, but there was Bill Clinton and Obama. Leos and Sagittarius are usually fabulous in politics. Anyways, another time, but they did good. Virgos, happy birthday to you, the chosen one this year. Pluto going forward in your creative sector, bringing you a feeling of rebirth and more peace, and somehow you're aware of your potential. You may have to deal with some control issues in the love department, but take the time to listen. And it's very important now to really observe other people. Listen. You'll learn a lot about all these things, what people, want from you and what you could expect and you have to be grounded no matter what don't take things personally in any way shape and form forgive forget and move on if necessary on the weekend spend more time with yourself to reflect on your goals and on where you want to be in a year from now on the weekend relax actually love could make you a beautiful surprise guess who's Virgo Kim Davis, the queen of bigotry. It's funny how she has the same dark, what you call caput. It's a little, it's the eye of the bull. That's not very good. It means a dark sea. And the dragon's tail on her moon, just like Donald Trump. A coincidence? No. As a Christian, she has divorced three times. Is it that not against her fate? Where was she when she married four times? Shame on you, little Kimzy. You are a shadow and I hope you heal and you, you allow other people to be and give them the same respect as you would like them to give you. All right, be a good girl now. Nothing's gonna happen with her anyway, she'll just fade away. Ta-da! Your magical color Virgos this week is turquoise, like in numbers four and 22. And now here's a very nice, powerful wizard affirmation of this very busy, enlightening week. When you judge others, you do not define them really, you define yourself. I love you, I kiss you, and I'm working very shortly on some kind of predictions on the elections. It will be on YouTube, I'll let you know when it's ready. I'm still researching. Love you and kiss you. Bye, be good now.